Hello everyone. My name is Brian Zhang and I'm a cloud computing architect working in Inspur. The other two speakers are Wen Ping Song and Shao Hefeng. Wen Ping Song is a cloud computing senior research and development engineer who is also working in Inspur. And the other is Feng Shao He, works in Inter. Next, we'll share the topic of enhancement and optimization of uh, new head generous accelerator based on cyborg. <clears throat> we'll introduce the cyborg from the following four aspects. Change of uh, head generous computing, functions and uh, optimization, modeling uh, management and uh, planning to do, prospect uh, for cyborg. In recent years, heterogeneous computing has become a relative hot topic. It has gradually emerged in 5G, cloud computing, energy computing, <clears throat> and other fields. But heterogeneous computing faces great challenges in terms of software adaptation, fairness, diversity, distributed system collaboration, and data migration. For example, how to manage a large number of heterogeneous computing units with a unified management, how to cross architecture, high performance, unified programming, and how to combine service to maximize hardware performance, and how to achieve fairness switching, hardware adaptation. Fairness, uh, decoupling, memory consistency, synchronization, storage compatibility, and the system compatibility issue in the case of a large amount of business and hardware devices dependency. Cyborg is a project management uh, <coughs> managed by hardware accelerators and it uh, can solve the above problems effectively. Let's introduce Cyborg inter, in Cyborg's contribution to heterogeneous computing. <clears throat> Next, uh, we'll introduce our, our new feature and uh, our optimizations in Cyborg. Since Cyborg is still in its uh, infancy, infancy there are some problems in it, such as poor case of use in consistent data, single functions, and few types of accelerator support. We have made improvements to these issues, and we were added accelerator devices, bound and unbound support. We have achieved data consistency and synchronization between several and placement through data aggregation. With a filter, with a filter, and the transfection processing method. <clears throat> we also realized the GPU virtualization management to improve GPU device utilization and uh, introduce the NVMe SSD, QAT, IPDA, DVDK, and other types of uh, drivers to improve the cloud compute platform spot and uh, adaptation capabilities for accelerator hardware devices. We also support a pitch creator service with accelerators to make uh, accelerator devices uh, convenient. <coughs> Cyborg is uh, an accelerator resources management project and uh, use a microservice architecture to support distributing deployment which contains uh, Cyborg API, Cyborg Conductor, and uh, Cyborg Agent uh, service. First, uh, we need to set a <coughs> driver config, such as uh, GPU driver and uh, FPGA driver. <coughs> Second, uh, Cyborg Agent collects uh, accelerator resources information and reports it to the Cyborg Conductor. Thirdly, the 
semiconductors to accelerate resources information in the database and report data to placement resource management service. Placement stores the resources information and provide available resources for NOAA scheduling when the server is created. The Cyber API service provides interfaces to request the accelerator resources information. Currently, we have completed the NOAA and Cyborg interaction and support TGPO, VGPO, and FPGA accelerator devices. And in vector release, we have introduced the Inspire FPGA and the inter accelerator device services. In volume release, we plan to introduce NVMe SSD driver. <coughs> and in the future, we'll <coughs> We'll support uh, managing Svalink uh, account. We have uh, submitted uh, the Svalink uh, design specification to the NOAA team and going to discuss with the NOAA team uh, at this uh, victory PDG. <coughs> In user release, we have uh, completed uh, NOAA and Cyborg interaction features to support the funding accelerator devices. Uh, when creating a server. The diagram is the uh, abstract process and below is the main steps. Firstly, we need to create an accelerator device profile, which can be a pair of uh, accelerator resource or a combination of multiple accelerator resources, such as contain GPU and FPGA. Secondly, we should select the device profile to create a server. Thirdly, Getting available hosts that uh, specify the <coughs> uh, resource reports through NOAA's conductor, then to create a server with accelerators in device profile. Fourthly, NOAA's scheduler get a location candidate from placement and filter and available host. Then NOAA computer spawn the server with accelerators. Finally, Cyborg API maintains the relations between server and uh, accelerators. Through about steps, we can put a server with accelerator devices profile through NOAA. If you want to test uh, this feature, then you can deploy the your story release. I think it will be a pleasant uh, experience. Next, uh, Wen Ping Song will introduce Cyborg's implementation and uh, optimization of uh, acceleration devices. My name is Wen Ping Song, and let me introduce the implementation and the optimization for Cyborg. This diagram will introduce the implementation logic of binding and unbinding acceleration devices for an active server or uh, stop the server. The bound and unbound operation logical you can see as below. Firstly, no API send the bound and unbound accelerator request to no computer. Then no computer co placement to allocate or deallocate accelerator resources. Next, labor will attach or detach the device. It will add or remove the accelerator info from the server's XML file. Lastly, several API maintains the server and the accelerator relations, deleting or adding the mapping relations. VGB is necessary in current business since this diagram shows the VGPO management architecture. One PGPO can be virtualized to many VGPOs in the future. We can use several devices table to record the PGPU info. The play goes the table to record the VGPU info, and the attributes table record the VGPU trade and resource classes. Today we can only bind one VGPU to the server as Navida does the support of creating multiple media devices by Nova. With the VGPU managed by Cyberger, we needn't start NOAA computer configure about the GPU, the bus, and the VGPU type. Cyberger can out 
collect VGPU info and stored into DB. By GPU virtualization, we can increase the GPU usage, improve its ease of use, unified management of GPUs. We plan to inter introduce the, this feature in worldwide release. Please pay attention. If you have better suggestions, you can contact us via IRC or email. We also support creating software with vGPU like other accelerators. And this diagram is the main steps. Firstly, we need to create a device profile of vGPU, such as NVIDIA 180, 100, NVIDIA 180 and NVIDIA 181. Then we use the device profile to create a server, which is the same as Nova Stable Interactive Action. Through Nova State Scheduler selects an available host that satisfies the request vGPU resources. Next, Nova Computer spawn server with vGPU and requires the subworker to bind accelerator requests. Cyborg will send accelerator binding event to notify Nova Computer the binding results. When Nova Computer received the accelerator binding event, Nova Computer get bound info and generator configuration and is read to server's XML file. This diagram shows the optimization uh, of data synchronization between Cyborg and the placement. Nowadays, the server collect accelerator devices info and report to placement. When placement service is gone, the report will file and that's inconsistent is generated between cyborg and placement. In large scale scenarios, cyborg will also report the big data to placement, even though the placement is gone, which causes a greater waste of network bound wide resource. So in response to the above problems, we were optimized the method of accelerator resources signalizations. Firstly, instead of instead of cyborg proceed to placement, we will change the way of data transformation by placement for data from cyborg. Even though cyborg service is gone, we didn't worry the bandwidth resource waste. Secondly, for data transform in large scenarios, we will define a future accelerator resource method, which can get the accelerator resource from cyborg. It has the data with, with filters like NOVA. The weight metrics are device usage, device type, device aggregate, device product, device host usage, and so on. The future method will return accelerator device list with low usage rate through device type, product type, product ID, and the low usage host, which has devices. Thirdly, when placement gets the future data, we will use data clean method to filter the valid data, such as current time is earlier than update time and clean the device in use status, then use transactions to save data in resource classes, resource providers, traits, inventories, tables. So the measures above, the data inconsistency for nominant decreased greatly. For several with accelerators, we will block the lots of operations such as migration, suspend and resume, save and unsave. To enhance accelerator management, we have completed the cyborg event and evacuate and rebuild the blueprint. To support evacuating and rebuilding operation for server with accelerators, in Victoria release, we have submitted save and unsave operations supporting patch, which is ready to go. And we will complete it in worldwide release. In addition, we will support suspend resume and migration operations. This is our in-cloud OpenStack platform architecture. We have supported GPU virtualization, IPGA program, and NVMe SSD acceleration features by several. 
we have made a lot of operations, of optimizations in function and performance as follows. Basic performance of optimization based on a signal resistance, I/O, and multiple queen. Improve GPU performance and reduce GPU loss. Optimize resource data signal resistance mechanism. This is all my work style. And the next will come out introduce the smart link management and planning to do is Tabagra. Thank you. Hello, everyone. This is the Shao Hefeng from Intel Cloud team. Now I will introduce smart link management and planning in OpenStack. At present, we have support smart link N3000 in OpenStack. The picture show the detailed card information. And we can see there is an error 10 FPG chip for OVS or other computing offload. Yes, there is also a Mac 10 FPG at BMC. Uh, we have support OVS offload in our smart link and uh, by water function pass through to VM and at network interface. This picture show the general whole software stack for N3000. The kernel space exposed FPG PCI physical function and the water function by VFIO. Intel support a OPSDK to manage FPG in user space. Also, there is a DPDK device driver in user space to support image function on the program FPG. Oh, this picture show more details of the stack for OS offload. Yeah, it's it is similar. It is the same stack as the general. Yeah, we can see the software stack also from VFL OP DBDK to application. Now this picture show the new feature we have support. Now we have support async program API when admin post a program request to Cyber. Cyber will check whether the FPG is in use. If no FPG resource consumed by any VM, then it will download an image from the class. And the Cyber Smart Link driver will start program. After the program finish, the driver will read discovery and refresh the resource information in database dynamically. Also, it will refresh the result information in placement. We also support a new API for program status and the pro and the process query during FPG program. This picture shows the new 
improvement in OpenStack from for SmartNIC with OVS offload. It shows the detailed flow of how we assign a SmartNIC water function to VM as a network interface. Firstly, admin should create a device profile for the accelerator resource description. Then the tenant can create a pod with this device profile. At last, he can create a VM with this pod. When Nova receive a VM creation request, it will query the port information and get the device profile. Then it will choose a host candidate to satisfy the device profile and post a accelerator request ARQ to Cyborger. <clears throat> Cyber will choose an accelerator for the VM and send an even to NOAA to notify that the accelerator is ready. At last, NOAA will call Libor to start a VM with this accelerator as its network interface. Yeah. Of course, all these new features and the improvement will be upstream and a new powerful smart will come out. Okay, at last, let's press back, press back for Cyborger. We will support batch create VM with accelerators, batch bound and unbound. Accelerators, of course, SmartNIC integration, support live migration for SRIOV VM, NVMe, SSD management, optimization, and more. Okay, that's all for our topic. Thank you. Thank you, everyone.